kuu wa shule yetu ya Kamoroho ni Trinity Kamoroho Primary pamoja na naibu na walimu wote na wazazi mniruhusu ni wasalimu nyote katika jina la Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo sala Yesu sio vile ulianza kitu cha muhimu ni vile utamaliza how will you finish your race hey utamalizaje safari ya leo tunataka wale wanafunzi ambao watamaliza vile finishing Well is the title of my sharing today. Kuna wana kuna wanafunzi mmoja the best in Sunday one. Alikuwa na nafasi the first position. English namba akomo. Kiswahili wa kwanza Sunday one. Walimu wakiongea they only talked of positive things about this exceptional student always living a smart car well dressed this guy was the limit this guy very disciplined went to church alipofika standard 6 kwa mara ya kwanza akaanza kupata wrong company they distracted the chap akagundua kuko na watu wa boda boda soko hata akajua utamu ya mandazi kaka ngumu na baadaye kiburi ikaingia ndani yake na yeye akajiambia i am the best but i she skipped school okay the number 10 the parents did not care wakasema msichana yetu kila wakati anaongozanga atujali sana atarudi baada ya yule msichana akawa mjamzito na akapata 32 points out of 84 nobody remember how she started but everybody remember how the girl finished the race by telling you how you finish is everything vile unamaliza ndio itakitamia whether you will become a cocktail pusher or a prince how you finish will determine whether you will go to alliance or you will be here with us in the village how you finish will determine everything today allow me to share with you god's word in a message and title I want to finish well. That kaka ni malize vyema. Kitu cha kwanza, siri ya kwanza ya kumaliza vyema. Fight for your your man. Fight. Fight to be at the top. Kwa maisha kuna watu wanapiga nyanga hapa chuchini kuna mtu huko kwetu chepokos kama mimi na principal alisema ya nini ni jenge nyumba ya mawe na wote tutakufa he was fighting to be average na baada leo hajajenga nyumba ya mabati ni ya nyasi yeye pata nyumba ya nyasi na akafikia hapo wengine wanapiga nyanga bora ni pite max 100 sijali wengine wanapiga nyanga bora yo man ufika 200 bila 
akasema mimi nataka niwe top 20 hata kama kila wakati nimekuanga number last nilikuwa nawasaidia kushika mkia lakini nataka nibadilike kutokea leo sitashika mkia tena i want to fight ni kufia mbele top 20 from number 30 siku ya mtiani akakuwa namba 70 hayo mmoja peke yake ndiye alinisikia hata leo nataka mwanafunzi mmoja alisikie faith to be at the top faith to maintain at the top don't fight to have more successes kuna wengine wanapigana na kwamba i'm the popular Hakuna kumbuka uosopo. But we remember your results of KCP. Did you fight to be at the top? Hey, only began to maintain at the top. Fight to be consistent. Na pia na kanisa letu la Kianglikana. Pia napenda historia ya kanisa la jeshi la Wokovu. Ili ajijo na mtu anaitwa William Booth. Aongezea kwa kimanga cheche la bwana aliangaliko. Wangalia nyuma ni ni wangalia mbele wangalia. Yaani rosa tai. Faith to be consistent. Hoy William Booth he walked for six million miles. Yaani alitembea mile 6 million. Akahubiria watu. Na mpaka leo kanisa la West ya jeshi la Wokovu iko mpaka West. Be consistent. Kama umeamua kutokea leo utaanza kupigana. Usibadilike kesho. Endelea na kesho. Hata kesho kutwa remain the same. When you decide to fight and change things, discipline is very important. Discipline in studies. Usisome tu vitu ambavyo unachua. Hata ambaye hujui, take time to study. It is my prayer that you will finish well by fighting the good fight. Pigana kuna wanafunzi wengi wanapigania vitu vingi wengine wakati huu wa mtihani watakuwa wanatembea tao hiyo haitakusaidia kitu cha kwanza faith number two, keep the faith weka imani ya kwamba you can do kuna watu wengine kwa hiyo maisha wamewahi kukuambia hauwezi. Keep the faith. The people will end up well. Wale ambao watamaliza vyema ni wale ambao wataweka imani ya kwamba wanaweza kupitia kwa nguvu ambaye wamepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Dada uamini ya kwamba you are made in the image and the likeness of God. You are like other students in Kenya. Keep faith. Weka imani. Na ukiweka imani na kuambia utasoma ukijua Mungu atakuwezesha. Huko na mtu mmoja anaitwa Vivich. Vivich alizaliwa bila mkono na bila mkubwa. Yeye ni the world leading motivational speaker. Yeye alipozaliwa bila mkono na mkubwa. Watu wakamgarau. Sasa zingine hata huko mwai za raumilo. Watu wakamwambia Vivich hata wewe hakuna haja ya kuishi. Wengine wakamwambia bwana wewe utakuanga ukiombanga tu kila siku. Lakini yeye akiweka imani. Mungu aliniomba na sababu. Hata mimi nitafanikiwa. Na yeye akaanza kuwa na imani. 
Yaani mkule akakuwa na imani hata akaanza kujifunza fanya mambo na mdomo kutumia kompyuta hata swimming akajifunza na mwishowe akaingia darasani akaenda kusoma akamaliza primary akamaliza secondary akamaliza university akapata bachelor of commerce akaoa hapo na watoto wa wiki yule ambaye aliambiwa hawezi he kept the faith and he has finished well hapa ugona mwenye atapata a kwa sa ukiweka imani ugona wale ambao watafanya vizuri kwa somo la jamii social studies weka imani kuna watu wengine watu wafunja moyo kuna wengine watakufanya upotee njia lakini weka imani uko na mwandishi wa kitabu ambaye anaitwa think big jina lake alikuwa anaitwa ben kaso yeye alipofika 75 alikuwa the last lakini akaamua na mama yake akamtia moyo wazazi tusaidie watoto kwa kuatia moyo tusiwavunje moyo hizo ongeleshe vibaya kuna wazazi wengine wanasema hata mimi najua wewe hautaenda popote nataka umwambie kutokea leo mimi najua utaenda mbali katika jina la Yesu Kristo na Yesu akiwa upande wetu tutafanikiwa keep the faith weka imani wanafunzi ambao wanafanikiwa ni wale ambao wameweka imani kufanikiwa kwanza ni kupigana pili ni kuweka imani tatu neva Ukiwa umelenga focus yako ni nini kwa maisha? Wengine hapa ni kuwa daktari, wengine ni kuwa walimu, wengine ni kuwa chungaji kama mimi. Na nikwambie never focus. Focus. Endelea. Focus. Na ukifocus Mungu atakusaidia utafanikiwa. Huko kwetu Huko kwetu na mtendo Huko na mnyama inaitwa Polne. Sijui kama wapokoni wanajua. Polne. Na sisi huko na mnyama mwingine ambao tunaitaka ngogi. Ngogi ni umbo. Polne ni mbuzi ya mstu. Alafu tuko na mnyama mwingine anaitwa Pudangu. Sungura. Sasa kulikuwa na umbo moja hatari. Nilikuwa nikifukuza swala lazima imeshi. Na wengine sisi watu wakienda kupukuzika kufukuzanga wanaendaga kesa gas. Wanaendaga kuwinda. Na ndio tena unyo unyo apa unyo unyo no. Na watu wanakimbiza swala. Hii chonjo ilikuwa ni umbwa ya kipekee. Kwanza unyo inaingua mkia. Na kufukuza na ilikuwa inakimbiza mpaka ishike. Siku hiyo sasa wale wa unyo unyo na unyo. Ikakimbiza wanaendelea kuimbia hija kimpisa kabisa wakati karibu ishike brangu yani sungura hija pita kwa njia chop unajua ni umbo ilifanya hija hata kufukuza swara hija hata kufukuza sungura swara 
with KCPE. I'm a cup set. In a little side, we want to finish well. To another to shake it. I don't answer who can be sad. In visa, Capisa. Let me know that I'm a Sumura Mingi in a pita. Sumura Panza. Nimandasia by good power. I never want to put the ACPE, but I'm going to focus on the mass. We're going to assume that I'm going to be a long time in a temper of Parapara. We're going to assume that I'm going to be a long time in a long time. I'm going to be a long time in a long time in a long time. Zara huyo jamaa kaenda kuyu Tapa ito ubu Na kuambia Halikuwa naandika haraka Lakini ya chuche ni ya naandika Haka ambuka mutiani Haka pata i Kukuna sumura wengine ni marafika Zani kuambia unajua ni muna maliza na wao KCP Kuna wengine hauta wai kutana na wao tenu Waibo Wacha sungura ipite na wewe fata swa. Haya ni mwambia usiangalie success card. Hata shule ikefaja mzuri ifungie success card. Kwa ofisi, mbaka watu wapalise mutiana. Ndiyo wapewe na umina kusoma mara sita sao hata mara ishirini. Rabu sema, sungu na ingine ni kuhansa kuchiangalia na kuchionea uru. Rani kuambie, sisi mwaka huu kama uru, tunataka kumaliza ye. We will keep the focus. Wali mwami sema, kapla wage rusio kwenda nyumbani, kuna leso ni ezabu saa kumi, Wacha sungura ya mpira ingia tarasa. Soma kwa bibi na naimani utaandikisha historia kwa shule. Nimesema ya kwamba tumalize fiel. Kitu cha kwanza nimesema let us fight. Fight to be at the top. Fight to remain at the top. Faith to be consistent. And in the Rudia, we say, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. You want to be a focus. Keep the faith. Be faithful. Who are more meaningful? Kumbuka, we are the one of Fusi. Mpaka siku soto. Hata mpaka sahi, bado mene na soto. Be faithful. Kuwa mwabilifu. Kuna yungina wanadangajwa. Ya kuwa mbaiko nchi ya ingine ya kupitu. Ya kutafuta siru. Na kuweka makaratasi kwa mfuko. Kaka ni wambie. Hata ukiwa na siru. Hayo makaratasi. Padana ya kukusaidia, itakuchanganya siti. Ukiwa kumaminifu kama mwanafuzi. Inaimani. Kukristo ya kwamba atakusaidia na atakuwezesha kushipi. Paulo, leo somo letu la kwanza. Unaambio kusu mtu moja alimaliza vizuri. First Chronicles. Chapter 4, verse 9 to 10. The believer said, When I get this, a chavis was more noble than his brothers. When they are now on Alexander Vieira, number one, they are exceptional. You are keeping it. Kamuro, we want you to be exceptional. Then the believer, he will figure out what she wants to do. He will figure out what she wants to do. Na kutuambia maneno wa church. Kitabu cha Chronicles. 
kiliandikwa na kazizi mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Esther yeye aliandika around 400 and 400 BC kabla Yesu kuzaliwa na yeye anaandika akatoa religious history ya wana wa Israeli baadaye akaandika majina ya familia ya Daudi lakini alipofika kwa Yabes Mungu aliyemaliza vyema yeye akatulia na akasema mama yake alimpa jina ya Yabes kwa sababu alimzaa kwa uchungu wale ambao wanamalizanga vyema wanajua their past cannot determine their future yani wanajua ya kwamba vile nilikuwa chani leo ninaweza kufanya vile ya basi historia yake ilikuwa mbaya lakini akasema nitabadilisha mambo ya basi was unique na yeye alikuwa wa kipekee kitu cha pili ya basi aliomba maombi ya kipekee na leo nataka tuombe candidates maombi haya jambo la kwanza aliomba na kusema e Mungu laiti yake ya Mungu hauwezi kufanikiwa unaweza kuwa umesoma umefunzwa lakini unahitaji baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu we need God's blessings hata tukienda kwa mtihani ndio nimekuja kama padri hapa kuombe na kuwabarikisha kwa Mungu bila Mungu kutubariki hatuwezi kufanikiwa jambo la pili aliomba na kusema oh god expand my territory Mungu panua mipaka yetu leo tunaomba Mungu apanue mipaka ya Kamorogo tusiongeze tusiongoze tu kwa location tuongoze kwa county hata kwa taifa letu la Kenya Mungu apanue mipaka yetu. Kitu cha tatu, tunaomba Mungu atuepushe na maovu. Ili senta yetu ya Kamoro usipatikane na simu au chochote kibaya. Tunaomba Mungu atuepushe na maovu. Kitu cha tatu, yani akaomba mkono wa Bwana uwe juu yake. Na Biblia inasema Mungu akajibu maombi ya Yabesi. Hata leo tunaomba Mungu ajibu maombi ya shule yetu ya Kamoro. Mungu atubariki, apanue mipaka yetu. Jambo la tatu tunaomba ya kwamba Mungu atuepushe na maovu. Jambo la nne tunaomba ya kwamba mkono wa Mungu uwe pamoja nasi ndio tutaomba hapo kwa kanisa tutaenda kuombea kila darasa ambaye tutafanya mtihani ya kwamba Mungu mkono wake uwe juu yetu Paulo alikuwa muhubiri mzuri kwanza alianza vibaya sana Paulo alikuwa wa Kristo hata yeye alishika nguo za Stefano alishika nguo za vijana waliompiga Stefano na mama siku moja akakutana na Yesu Kristo alipoenda Damascus Paulo akabadilika yeye alihubiri vyema na mwisho wa hadithi yake imeandikwa kwa somo ambao tumesomewa leo kabla ya AD 67 Paulo alikuwa amefungwa pale ambapo panaitwa moratorium grandio karibu awa yeye akaelezea jinsi ya kumaliza vie kitu cha kwanza akasema nimepiga vita vilivyo vizuri vya imani endelea kupigana vita vya endelea kusoma endelea kuuliza maswali wa elimu endelea kuheshimu wazazi wako endelea kurudi nyumbani kwa wakati kama vile wewe ni mwanafunzi pigana vita 
vyema vya imani kitu cha pili akasema imani nimeilinda i have kept the faith kitu cha tatu akasema i have finished the race akasema kitu cha tatu cha nne ni ya kwamba sio tu nimeweka imani akasema ipafika pahali nitabakia peke yangu i will be left alone kwa mtiani wakati mwingine tutabakia wenyewe siku ya mtiani mungu yuko pamoja nasi akasema ingawa niliacho peke yangu wakati alikuwa na majaribu akasema kitu kingine mungu alisimama pamoja na na akanitia moyo na matumaini hata nyinyi tunasema kwa mtiani ngao mtakuwa peke yenu lakini hamtakuwa peke yenu mungu yuko pamoja na tunaomba ya kwamba mungu awasaidie msome maswali vyema mjibu kwa wakati pigana pigana kitu cha pili weka imani kitu cha tatu be focus na kitu cha nne ufuate ya pesi na paulo mungu wa amani awabariki na tuombe baba mwenyezi na mwenye rehema penda usikia maombi yetu bariki watainiwa na candidates wa mwaka huu wa holy trinity kakoro bariki wanafunzi wa princess bariki pia na wataniwa wa KCP wasenge na kuongoza kwa jina la Mungu Baba Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu